Today we're talking about dividing integers and the rules for dividing integers are the same as the rules for multiplying integers. So at the bottom you'll see the two rules. If you have one negative or an odd number of negatives, the answer is, say it, negative. negative. And if you have two negatives or an even number of negatives, the answer is positive. That's right. So let's go to some examples. Number three, 88 divided by 8. What's the answer going to be, positive or negative? Positive, because there's no negatives at all. And 88 divided by 8 is? 11. Yes. 11. So the answer is just 11. How about number four? I have negative 20 divided by negative 5. So the answer is going to be? Positive again. Two negatives means a positive answer. And I think I heard Holden say four, right? I was, I was, I was waiting for you to say what is the answer. Thank you. Okay, so 20, negative 20 divided by negative 5 is 4. Number 5. How many negatives? One. One. So the answer is negative. negative. What is 18 divided by 6? Three. Three. Positive. Yes, good. Oh, you were waiting for this? So, no, I wasn't waiting. I was giving people time to write. So, on number six, there's two negatives. So, Brayden, you're right. The answer is going to be positive. And remember, fraction means divide. So, I'm still just dividing here. 36 divided by 4 is 9. The next one. Negative or positive? Negative. One negative equals a negative answer. 70 divided by 7? 10. I heard a lot of different things there. Negative 10 is right. Notice how I put equal signs here because I'm writing to the side of the problem, so then I want to put in equals. Number 8, negative or positive? Negative. negative again. And what is 81 divided by 9? Nine? 9. Good. All right, copy those down. We'll be right back. For these last two examples, they give us an expression, and then they tell us what one of the variables is worth so that we can evaluate the expression. So all I'm going to do for number 9 is plug in this number they gave me for x right there. So I'm going to say negative 52 divided by 4. Because they told me x equals negative 52. Right here. Oh, you don't know what the answer is. Okay, got it. So is it negative or positive, first of all? It's negative. And 52 divided by 4? 13. Don't talk, just copy it down. Okay, so for number 10, again, they give us two var variables, s and t, and they say evaluate this if s equals negative 45 and t equals 5. So I'm just plugging in instead of s and t, I'm putting these numbers. Is my answer going to be positive or negative? Positive. You forgot to put the negative. It's negative five. It's it's positive five. That's, that's an equals t equals five. Okay. So it's going to be negative because there's only one negative actually in this one. And what is forty five divided by five? Nine. Nine. Okay. And that's all for today.